is Gwen, and today I just want to show you a few tricks with your tabs, specifically to Google Chrome. So this presentation is called Google Chrome Tab Tricks. So if you're like me and you like to have a lot of tabs open at the top so you can multitask and more efficiently get to websites that you use often, I want to show you a few things that you can do. First of all, as you probably know, if you want to drag something out to a new window, for example, if I am looking at the news and I want to pull it out to a different window, you can just grab on it and pull it forward and it will come out to a new window. But there might be times that you want multiple tabs to come out. For example, maybe I want the news article and the YouTube tab to come out. So you can see here to drag multiple tabs into a window at the same time, you just hold down the command key on a Mac. So I'm going to hold down the command key while I touch the news article and YouTube. So say I want these two tabs to come out, I hold the command key, you can let go, and then when you pull forward, you'll notice both of these tabs then come into a new window. The same works if you want to put them back, so I'm going to click on them again, you can see they're both a dark blue, and then I can put them back in my other window, and they'll go back in there too. So holding down the command key, will allow you to drag multiple tabs into a new window. Now, you also can right-click on a tab, and there's a lot of options, many of which I'll be going over in this session soon, but I'm going to go ahead and do a right-click, which on my Mac is a two-finger click, but some people do a bottom right corner click and some even a bottom left. But I just want you to see, when you right-click on a tab, you have a lot of options, and I'm going to be talking about some of these, but I'll point out you do have new tab, you can reload this page, you can duplicate it, pin it, which I'll talk about in just a minute, um, mute tab, close the tab, close other tabs. If there were a tab to the right, this would allow me to do close tabs to the right. You can reopen what you last closed or bookmark all of these currently open tabs in a folder. So I just want you to know if you right click on a tab, you have a lot of shortcuts to many of the things I'll be showing you in this presentation. So one of those was pin tab. And this is a good idea if there's a site you visit frequently. So for example, I always have my school email open, so maybe that's a tab that I want to pin. So if you right click on it and then do pin tab, you'll notice that it becomes really small and it's over in the corner. So there's no X for me to click or anything like that. I can still move it where I want. Um, but pin tab just makes it small and it's not going to close in that case. If you don't want it pinned, just right click and do unpin and then it will take care of that. So that was just a right click and then choosing pin or unpin. And it will always be open but not take up as much space. You can also close multiple tabs at once. So let me move some of these over. So I want to close, for example, if I want to close this YouTube video and this news one. So if I'm on a current page like this presentation and I want to close these tabs over to the right and you could have more than that if you needed. So from your current tab, if you do a right click and if I do close tabs to the right, it's not going to close this current window or tab I should say, sorry, it's not going to close this current tab, just those to the right. So when I do close tabs to the right, you'll notice the news and the YouTube tabs went away. You also can do close other tabs if you only wanted one tab open, which in this case I'm not going to model since I don't want that. You can switch between tabs. So as I said, I'm one who always likes to have tabs open. And you can switch between them easily just by pushing the corresponding number to the tab order. So if I hold down the command key and I want to go to my first tab, I can touch the one, second tab, third tab, fourth tab, fifth tab, and in this case I have six tabs. And you can just switch back and forth between them by holding down the command key and then pressing the number of the tab, the order that it's in. If you're working in a current tab and you decide you want a new window, you can just hold down the command key and press the T. You get a new, new tab and then you can go to wherever it is that you want it to go. So command T opens a new tab. You can also close the current tab by pressing the command and then a W. So for example, this new tab that I opened, if I wanted to close this tab, I hold the command key down and then I can just press W and it's going to close that current tab. I've got two more for you. If you want to open the last tab that you had open, you can press the command key the shift key and the T, and it will open the last page 
last tab that you had open. In this case, it was the Granville County Schools homepage. So that was Command, Shift, and T. And the last one I'll show you is how to highlight the text that's in the Omnibar. The Omnibar is up here where we often are typing a web address. And maybe, like in this case with Google, maybe you want to give that link to somebody. If you want to keep your hands on the keyboard and not even touch your mouse or your trackpad, if you just hold the Command key and then press the L, it's going to highlight everything that's in that Omnibox. And then you can use your other shortcuts like Command C to copy it. Um, and the way I remember that is often there's a link in the Omnibar, and link starts with L, so that's how I remember that. So Command plus L will highlight whatever is in the Omnibox. So I'll model that again. So if I push Command L, you'll notice up here it's going to highlight everything that's up there. All right. So those are just a couple tricks um, that you can use in Google Chrome if you're a user like me who likes to have many tabs open at once. Thanks.